get in duck bird. It's a duck blur. Alright, folks, I did my typical screw up and left my cigarettes in the other room. So while I go retrieve them, you can listen to the fantastic tune of DuckTales, sing along, and I'll be with you in really like two seconds. And I'm back. Good way, a good sign of starting off a LP is when you fucking have to run off in the first two seconds. At least, uh, well, not at least, it's probably the worst one I've ever seen in my life. Um, we won't have the cat interrupted anymore. But, anyway, this is DuckTales for the NES, made by Capcom. Capcom. If you remember this game fondly, if they played it before. If you haven't played it, you may have indeed heard of it. Uh, especially the music in the seventh stage. And yes, that's the stage we'll be doing. And I'm it on easy, just for the sake of the LP-ness. Wow, that's not wrong. Now that the penis into LP-ness, no. Um, that's very, very wrong. So we get to choose a level. Uh, we can choose any, any of these given levels. Each level has a treasure that we wish to retrieve. We have to retrieve all of the treasures in order to be the richest duck in all duck bird. Or, where right, that's the gist of the story. There's Huey, Dewey, and Huey there. Actually, I think Huey was a blue one. So it might be Louie, Huey, and Louie. For some reason, I can understand they didn't come to the bottom left one, or the furthest left one rather, uh, below, because it would be in the background, but the uh, well, furthest right shouldn't blend in. Anyway, that's way off topic. We're going to do the moon, since that's the level everyone knows. It's one of the greatest songs ever put in video game history. And I'm going to interrupt it by using a fucking bonus, uh, invincibility. So, yes I am going to talk over the fantastic moon level, oh shit, moon level song. Um, the basic way you attack is jumping on people, the controls aren't hugely intuitive that you have to press down and B to uh, use your pogo move. If you can flick uh, these items at people, but generally you will be relying on the pogo move, as most of these areas don't have anything in it. Um, this game's quite interesting in that it's not entirely oh shit linear bloody hell and that uh, it plays very much like a Mega Man game that it is Capcom however you need to unlock certain or pick up certain items to unlock certain areas uh, rather than going kind of straight left to right or Mega Man you can occasionally go up and down have, <coughs> it's generally a linear path, it's not needing to go different directions, needing to pick up different items, etc, etc. Uh, unlike here in this game. Um, it's been a little while since I played this, so I can't remember which other directions you want to go. Oops. Oh, that will work. Hopefully we're going the right way. 
Otherwise, uh, we have to backtrack a bit. So you can plug these items up like that. Kill guys that way. Uh, it's just launch pad. This, for some reason, also works as a checkpoint. Um, if we die, we will come back here. I don't know if you actually need to talk to him to do that. No, I don't know what you reckon about this game. Do you expect me to? Fuck off. Um, we uh, can't remember every directional detail off by heart. Ah, bloody cow. That was useless. That might be it. Yes, that is. Okay, that means we do miss out on talking to... What's her name? Uh, niece. I think she was. Um, God. I just got the Duck Curse on DVD recently and I've already forgotten the character's name. Uh, you also need to use the Pogo Move to bounce to some areas you can't reach, as you saw before, so we can bounce a spike. Which, of course, is uh, handy. And, uh, So the controls aren't too intuitive, there are many times where I've messed up just by the fact that down and B, well, not so much the problems with intuitiveness, but rather that down and B is not responding as it should. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the game's fault or the fact that, you know, I am playing with a controller, original NES controller, so therefore, you know, it's a good 30 years old. Most, you know, 20 at least, really. And you can't expect uh, things to respond as they once used to, so it could be the control, it could be the game. But yeah, oops. There have been instances where the game just purely hasn't responded. Oh, not the right way. Uh, this song. The Moon Stage song is horrendously popular. Um, mostly because it's just such a good song. Uh, she would usually be sitting here saying that you need to get the key. Uh, but we've got the key so we can just go straight for it. This part is one of the parts I have the most trouble with. That... Uh, yeah. List me bagpipes. Now Gizmo Duck can blast that wall. We haven't come across the wall yet, but... Apparently Scrooge already knew about it, so... That was a terrible Scottish accent I did. I didn't even fucking attempt to do an accent. This new song, The Architect, is horrendously popular, and it is a good song. It's really... One of those 8-bit songs that really went well and above being 8-bit. That it just sounded like a song. And there's only really a handful of ones, a handful of 8-bit songs or 8-bit video game songs that really do that, even the best ones, say, uh, oh shit. We do start back off at launch pad, which I'm not sure if we hit. No, we still have the remote control. You can press start, check your items. Um, Shimmy down there. Oh. The thing about these guys here, they look insanely like Gizmo Duck. Uh, so it's kind of weird. When I first played this level, uh, the very first time, I actually thought it was Gizmo Duck. I was kind of wondering why he was attacking me. I thought it's just a, you know, the typical thing they have with. Uh, video games built on licensed properties, they've got the characters and the people who make the property and make the game based on the property. I don't necessarily know uh, who the characters are and what the relations are to the whole story. Um, and therefore, uh, maybe just bugger things out by, oh shit. Um, 
you know, seeing something like Gizmo Duck and thinking, oh, he's clearly a villain. He's a robot. All robots are And there's Gizmo Duck Sue. Uh, not hugely like it, but, you know, enough to... Oh, bye bye, Gizmo Duck. To cause my initial confusion. The levels are incredibly well designed, I, I think. Um, one of the Beagle Boys, which is a character from the series, even though there are only three of them. And yeah, they do keep respawning this, which is a bit of a nuisance, I must say. Um, often it's best just to let them you know, just dodge the guy and just carry on. And here we are at the boss. Oop. And we're going for a typical oop, boss uh, pattern. And the, oop, the patterns, the patterns are good, and that they're not too terrible to uh, too terrible to memorize. And there we go. Look at our money shoot up from just picking a piece of cheese. And time bonus is most games of the time had, and we pass the moon level. Excellent. The levels are. It, it's kind of hard to measure the the pretty part of me. Uh, yeah, why not Transylvania? Uh, the difficulty is hard to measure in that um, some levels have things that are more difficult than others. Uh, I'm sure there's something you could do with those. In fact, I'm really, really sure. There's the uh, girl character I was talking before. How curious is being kidnapped. <coughs> Save him, please. Uh, I'm sure we'll do that. I don't really know how the invincibility works in that I always tend to get it at very random times. One of the tricks to this game is memorizing the uh, layout, the levels, knowing where to go, knowing which items you need to pick up first, um, and that sort of stuff. You can talk to launch pad as you so poor, you find level too hard, you can go back to Duckburg and therefore oh, uh, pick a different level. So you have to find them first and again that means memorizing the layout of a level. And the moon level is the only one I've come close to memorizing. Uh, the Amazon's another one I'm not too bad at. Transylvania is actually one of the diff more difficult ones when it comes in terms of uh, memorizing the layout, so some tricks to it. And you should be able to use the mirrors. Yeah, there we go. The teleport. Wait, I, I must have forgot that you uh, had to pick two of them. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We, we heard, we heard ya. You spend most of the time pogoing around since that killed enemies as well. Oop. And it well, was allows you to bounce. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. Guess what? This house has an illusion wall. Well, I, I didn't know that. I don't know what an illusion wall is. <coughs> I haven't finished this game before, I must say. Uh, so for those of you, uh, and look, he's a connect again. Just like that. You walk away and... He's, uh, back into trouble. That, uh... God damn it, you're mine. Yeah, you are... I assume, meant to... Uh... At least... In your enemy, but not all the time is that easy to do. As you may have noticed as well, when you're going around levels, there are, I've seen it's illusion wall. Um, I've got an extra piece of help. 
that's kind of cool, I've not done that before. Uh, yeah, I mean, the game's not horrendously difficult. Especially for the time, especially for a Capcom game. Uh, Capcom games are... Oop, shit. Uh, can be notoriously difficult at times. Uh, this game is not too bad. It's not easy, like I said, you do have to memorize the layout. Uh, well, you can be in some trouble, and we are playing easy mode. The only difference I know for easy mode, and it could be more than what I don't know what to say it is, is that um, you can take more hits. Uh, normally, on normal mode, uh, one hit does your life by damage. In this, it's, uh, you need. Oh, how do I get past here? See, I'm not completely familiar with this level yet. I we haven't come across my pad. Oh! Well. It's got me stumped. I haven't come for a small pad yet to allow us to go back to Darkburg, so... Maybe this could be our final stand. I'm gonna go back and see if I can get up here. Ooh! Ah, oh, come on, screw. Um, no. Oh, we teleported somewhere else. Oh, I've messed that up. Yeah. Um, that's the part that people tend to comment on a lot, that I'm pretty sure the nephews are meant to appear in the part with you, and that you just kind of, you jump out in the last second, and, oh, this came over, I didn't actually realise that was all my lives. That's quite... You only have three lives, and I had forgotten that I fucked up on the moon earlier. Let's take a quick look at another level. We'll go with the Amazon. It's, uh, well, we'll go with the African Mines. The Amazon's another one that I know really well. So I'll we'll go with one that I don't know. Attempting to make things a bit more interesting. Okay, that's fucking a pain in the ass. I don't know if you realize that. To do this level anyway to uh, get past that one. It's kind of weird. Because I'm pretty sure the Amazon you don't need to do any backtrack. The moon, obviously, you don't. You can finish that, no trouble. Um, and from what I can remember, it's the same for yeah, the Amazon. I'm pretty sure that's the only other level off it. Uh, as in Losing Wall. Losing Wall was over here, wasn't it? Oop. I can't remember. You can't expect me to remember these things. Just a game. Just a game, folks. You don't, you don't, you know, overthink things in game. Just a video game. Relax. Everybody relax. So yeah, I, I will be doing um, Obstolgia as a semi-regular feature. Uh, we'll see how it goes. There we go. in terms of jumping out. Oh, uh, my god. The first time I tried it, it's a... Uh, there we go. Do it again. Yeah, so that one took a few push sets to get it to go. 
Oh, uh, well, we're going a little bit further. We're going a little bit better this time. We're getting there. We haven't found the key yet. We found the key to Lost Dutchman's Mind, or whatever the fuck it was. Lost Dutchman's Mind, ha ha ha. See, they're missing him up here. Could have been cool to that. But no. Capcom had to go for a silly man. Don't know what the fuck I just picked up there. Guessing it was the uh, on the other side now. Of those pieces we're gonna get past the last time, but now we're See I don't know how you get these. Oh, okay. Oh, that's news for me. Never seen these ones levels I know very well. Can't accuse you of knowing everything. I'd like to be accused of that, but you just can't. It's not, not, not cricket. Oh, uh, you're not getting me, buddy. Not getting me, Buster Brown. Oh, we could have just gone that way anyway. Now I see. Now I see how it all plays out. I'm guessing a few people probably were cursing my name when they were watching that scene earlier. But, you know, that's just the name of the game. I'm gonna go back across. I think we shouldn't have gone down there. And if I did everything right, you can continue to yell at me in the comments and call me an idiot. Because... Wait, what's this? Yeah, I am completely bloody lost. Alright. I'm assuming there are a lot more hidden passages and that sort of nonsense in this game in general that I'm not aware of. Uh, it's, uh, really, oh, what the hell? Is this the skeleton key to the mine. So we've got the key to the mine now. I don't know if that means we got everything we needed in Transylvania. Oh, bloody... So look at these dirty slugs. Bastards. Silly bat landing gone and knocked itself out. Silly twat. Well, for some reason I actually do remember the mine level. Oh, there must be another one. Yeah, no, sorry. That is in the uh, Amazon level. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. We are about to die. And we've been recording for a while, so I will wrap up relatively soon. That guy that jumps out of the water there, uh, he reminds me of Count Dracula. If anyone used to watch that old cartoon. I think it was largely a British thing. Not that I'm British, but close enough. Yeah, not that there, he'll take us back. But we don't want to go back. We're fighters. We're Martyrs for the course. Oh shit. And we were about to do it. We were oh, so close. This is the scene that everyone talked about. I did actually think it was this level. The boys are in there with us. You can clearly oh what we did see initially. We do in Louis. And yep, yeah, bye. Just sent our nephews to the death. No mercy, no souls. Bruce needs his money. He ain't gonna stop no one. What does this do? 
Oh, it's bloody great. I can't get that off. I mean, I can What are you going to say? Use the sea saw and screw it. Well, Jesus, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Very precise landing to be needed on this lug. See where this leads. See if we, uh, wrap this the up some. If not, I think we'll wrap up the, uh, bloody driver wire. Silly twat, silly bat. And like most NES games, you do run into that issue of uh, frame rate. Oh! Ah, wow, he, he tricked me, I didn't expect him to go. That's uh, kind of a tricky one. Another level really quick, yes. Yep, that's how we get sent back, hanging onto a piece of rope that's flickering in midair. That's how I want to go back. Uh, we haven't done the Himalayas yet. Transylvania did have an item in it. I'm guessing it might be in the Himalayas. The item you need to do it. it might be the Amazon one. I don't know. Don't, don't ask me. This is another one of the songs that's well known in the kingdom of video game music fandom. The only this game is well known for its music, it is for the most part pretty good the whole way through. Oop. It's not perfect. It is a you know eight bit game. We do have some metal ups here and there but it is consistently pretty good and probably one of the best in this game in terms of music. I always thought the song was kind of weird. This kind of the, the gunshot noises in it. That's how I've always viewed them, as being gunshot noises. But what do I know? Oh, we yeah, I need a deal already, but it was worth It's just the journey. The journey that takes you there. Oh fuck, that's right. I have done it before, I forgot that you had to grab the rope. Anyway, that's DuckTales for the NES, the Famicom, or whatever you call it, from whatever place in the world you are. Nintendo Entertainment System. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye bye for now.